everyone, and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today is Wednesday, June the 8th of 2022, and I'm coming at you guys today with a super exciting video, and that is going to be my couponing stockpile revamp, complete overhaul, literally moving everything around and making more storage more efficient and organized video. Yes, I'm really, really, really excited for this. It's going to be awesome. It is long overdue. It is literally a hot mess up in there. Things are crazy and I got to get it more organized. So if you are not familiar with me, I am an extreme couponer. I'm not a prepper. I know there's prepper stockpiles that I've stumbled across. I don't prep for like natural disasters or anything like that. Um, I stockpile my couponing items and when I get things for free or cheap, I stock up for an extended amount of time so I won't have to pay full price later. That's my philosophy. However, if you don't coupon and you are a prepper, this could be helpful for you too. So there's definitely good tips that can come across this video no matter why you're stockpiling. So um, today I am just going to take you guys along vlog style, how I renovate the entire stockpile. I am starting out at the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree has so much organizational products and it's just $1.25. If you go to Walmart or any other store, it's going to be at least $3 for one bin. So of course, I'm going to save some money and come to Dollar Tree because I actually have really good stuff here. And so I'm going to head on in here and I will show you guys the things that I grabbed to help organize. All right, so in the Dollar Tree, I picked up a couple of things already, but this is the thing I came for here. And this is all the organizational products that Dollar Tree has. And that's seriously, guys, Dollar Tree has so many organizing items. The thing that I'm gonna go after today is actually these um, large like drawer things. These are gonna fit perfect on my stockpile shelves that I have. And I also have some bookshelves that I use. These are gonna be perfect. It's gonna keep items from falling backwards, which is what happens all the time. It falls behind the shelf and it's a big pain. Since these are already like, you know, secured, it'll avoid that from happening. So I'm definitely gonna pick some of these up. Um, they also have other ones like these smaller ones here. They have these bigger ones. I've used those before to store like deodorant and razors and things. Um, but I think so far, I am just going to go with these. And then to store some smaller things, I'm gonna buy four of these little baskets. I think this would be good for like toothbrushes and floss and things. So I'm gonna pick up four of these. So I got 16 of the big ones and four of the little ones. I want the same color because I want it all to be cohesive as much as possible. All right guys, back home from Dollar Tree. And if you hear background noise in here, it's because this is a laundry room and the washer and dryer are both currently running. So there's that that could explain the background noise but i thought you guys would like to see a little bit of a before tour of the stock what's working what's really not working why am i changing any of this kind of give you my thoughts the reason i'm changing this is because stuff is literally jumbled all over the place this is just not this is not working at all and i want to have it all more organized and everything more in its place and so that's kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing. So let me get to give you a before tour. We got toilet paper here, and then we also have toilet paper here shoved in between two shelves. That makes it hard to see the things here. Wipes and school supplies and baby stuff. Gloves there for kitchen stuff. Uh, randomness here, car stuff. Just a bunch of random things. Airwick warmers, some paper towels, shampoo and more shampoo and more shampoo stylers and tissues and facial stuff down there is razors and we got laundry things here um okay and then cleaning stuff this is really what's not working is this so i have this thing that's originally for laundry we use it for laundry but we also use it for stockpiling and this i despise this this looks so bad the toothpaste is all over the place and yeah and here's random stuff i just am not a fan and i need more storage space and so that is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So what I want to do, my thought process is, I want to revamp this. I want to put the personal care things on these shelves. I think it could be better organized that way by using the bins that I bought. So like, I feel like I could organize out the shampoo and the body wash by these bins. I just feel like it would really make a big difference. So I want to put like all the shampoo and body wash and things and facial things on the bookshelf. Then I want to have my laundry and cleaning things on these bigger shelves because I'm constantly running out of room. And then like the pads, I would love to get out of this box. I have pads in here. This is not functional. This is not good. And then I keep medicines and things in here and it's hard to get to it because of the 
tub of pads. So it's like, it's not very functional and it just needs to be improved. And so I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and show you what I do. I'm literally gonna move everything around and try to make it more functional um, using those bins that I bought. And I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. So let's just dive right in. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you.
will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down guys it is 9 22 p.m long day long stockpile work session here but it is complete and i couldn't be happier with how this turned out it turned out so amazing and so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the finished product of the stockpile tour so let's just dive right in oh my gosh guys this looks so so much better than it did earlier in my opinion i think it is absolutely amazing all the products oh i love the bins it just turned out so good i wish i would have picked up some more bins i kind of ran short towards the end but that's okay i made it work with what i had and then we got even more stuff here and I totally revamped this and I am so glad I did. I think it's perfect to hold paper towels and then I have even more stuff. It is beautiful. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an official walkthrough tour. Um, I did a little before tour and now I'm gonna give you guys the after. So on this thing previously was toilet paper on the top and then like school supplies and some baby products. Not anymore. This is a toilet paper stockpile. So I keep the babos here. Remember, these babos were shoved in the corner over there. So awesome. Completely. I love how much less clutter this is. It's just perfect. Um, babos here on this shelf. And then the little six packs and four packs I keep here. And then the disposable gloves I keep here. And then up here, I keep all of the bigger packs of toilet paper. So like the 12 roll or eight mega rolls or whatever. So love that. Then I have this cart, which was previously over here where these paper goods were, I had it there. Now it's here out in the open. I got deodorants here, um, women's deodorants, men's deodorants, shaving cream, more shaving cream, and then baby products. This is another bin that came from Dollar Tree I had on hand previously. Something that came in big handy, you're going to notice, is that there are labels in the stockpile, which I love. I utilize my Dymo Letcher Tag Label Maker. This thing is absolutely amazing. I love, 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 love this label maker. It is so good. Sorry for the background noise. Again, like I said, we're in a basement. It was actually relatively cheap. I got this at either Walmart or Target. I believe it was like $20, $25. And the refill tape is literally under 5 bucks. I think it's a lot of use out of it. So I utilize that for a lot of this stuff. So I could clearly label it so people could clearly find things. And it just makes a lot of sense. This drawer organizer, if you remember, there was a storage tub here earlier that had all the pads in it. Well, I got the pads all organized on these bottom two shelves. Literally love that so much. Then I used the drawers. These are much more accessible. I'm using five of the drawers. I have first aid products, so I have a ton of bandages going there. I got first aid tape, Thermacare, Icy Hot, um, all those things. And then down here, I keep pain relievers. So I have aspirin and Advil and all those various things. I need to stock more on that. And then here I have vitamins and probiotics. I got several different vitamins here, which is great. Um, then I have stomach medicines here. So like Tom's Rolaids, um, Zantac, things like that. And then down here, I keep cold and flu items. So medicine is pretty easily accessed. I don't stock a ton of that because it tends to expire. In fact, I had to purge some things that had expired. So good to check that frequently. All right. And then here I have my cleaning and laundry stuff and it kind of spreads out throughout the stock. But here I keep my disinfecting wipes and spray. So I got a ton of the wipes here. And then back here I have the little trial packs of wipes. 
Then I have these bigger packs of wipes. Love that. Then I have disinfecting sprays up here. I have laundry pods here. And then over here, I start with cleaners. So I have my multi-surface cleaners. So like Windex, the seventh generation stuff. Scent beads for the laundry. Sorry, guys. I hope the basement sounds aren't driving you crazy. <laughs> um, I got bleach here. Lots of bleach. Down here, I have like shout, downy wrinkle release, spray and wash. I actually don't have any legit shout, but it does the same stuff. Spray and wash. Some Tide wipes. I got fabric softeners up here. I love this. It looks so good dryer sheets over here laundry detergent over here i got it just crammed i really could stop for a while and be good i really could stop but i'm not gonna stop especially with the way the world is like with prices skyrocketing if i can get a deal i'm not gonna pass it up because i'd rather not have to pay full price for it and full price could change in the near future with the way prices keep going up down here i have a ton of cleaners so i have my all-purpose cleaners my toilet bowl cleaner and bathroom cleaner goes way back got a ton of that and i showed you guys the pads earlier dish soap i got a ton of dish soap and i mean a ton a little deal find i found these palm olive spray aways which are like the spray dish soaps i love the spray dish soap those are like quickly becoming my favorite these were $1.25 at dollar tree which i thought was a pretty good price for the spray dish soap so i picked that up i got a ton of dish soap and then over here i have like the um, dish pods and dish things and then I do have some renews it and mr. clean erasers down there okay and then up here I keep the cleaning stuff I wanted to just fill up these two shelves but it had to overflow and I had to just accept it so I have fabuloso cleaner up here like these things I got a ton of that car clips and oil refills so like um febreze car clips air wick warmers things like that and then here I have all these stupid I don't need these much that's why I shoved them up here, these Airwick warmers. It's fine. So I'm just going to keep those up there. I have air spray. So like Febreze spray, I got some Glade in there. And then a ton of fabric refresher spray. And I mean a ton. So that's good. Here I have these Palmolive shaking cleans. This is technically dish product. It should be over there, but there's not room. So it's up here. And all these paper towels. If you remember before, these were shoved up there. Love it here because I had other products on this top shelf, but it didn't work. As you saw earlier, it kind of bowed in and it just wasn't good. Stuff would fall over. Big things like paper towels are perfect up here. So I got a bunch of them here. And then down here, I have some more, plenty of room to grow. Um, let's keep going. Here I have liquid hand soap and sanitizer. So I got some soap refills back there, hand sanitizer and hand soap. I got a ton of this on sale at Walmart for free with a rebate. Here I have like Q-tips, cotton swabs, and like facial products. So lotion and um, lots of facial stuff. And then here's just a random cleaning shelf. Just whatever. I couldn't find another spot for it. made it up here. And I do have some wipes back there. School items. Tons of school items. Razors galore. Um, I have some gift sets. Some Christmas clearance that I got for free or really cheap. I have some Grove stuff. A blow dryer I got on the cheap and then i have women's body wash there men's body wash more ben's body wash some like gender neutral body wash and some armor on car stuff why not i found a place to put it and that's where i put it up here i have hairspray and i have gel and mousse and other random stylers here i have three in one men's shampoo i have a lot of people in the family who like the three in one stuff so that's separate kids and dandruff shampoo and this is all men's two in one suave and random suave more suave and then i have it out by type so there's like miscellaneous random ones and then there's repairing shampoos so like damage repair i have moisturizing and curling volumizing and then down here i showed you guys that so that's good then up here i have oral care so i got all sorts of toothpaste mouthwash i need more mouthwash but for now um denture products and retainer products i have a retainer at night so this is perfect for that i'm stocked for years um i caught a really good clearance on a lot of that stuff so hey i got plenty um i have toothbrushes and more miscellaneous like toothpaste trial toothpaste and then down there i have floss and i have pocket packs so yeah guys this is my new and improved stock i really hope you enjoyed this video seeing my before and then i took some clips of me working on it but i hope you guys enjoyed and then of course 
here's the after and I am in love. This stockpile is awesome. It's perfect. So yeah, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so, so much for watching.